there, and welcome back to my channel. If you haven't been here before, my name is Angie, and I'm a chemist who loves makeup. And today we are gonna be talking about the recent recall of a product from the brand Yes2, and that is their Unicorn Vitamin C Paper Sheet Mask. Due to customers reporting burning sensations, irritation, while using the mask. Quick disclaimer, everything I speak on today is just my opinion and theories. Yes2 has not given a statement on what is causing the burning, so right now it's all just speculation and for entertainment purposes only. So the schedule for today's video is I'm gonna tell you what happened if you haven't heard. I'm gonna give you a couple of explanations from dermatologists I saw on news articles, my theories on why people are having these reactions, and my personal experience with Yes2 sheet masks in the past. And we're just gonna go through my detective work and see how I came to this theory. So if you haven't heard what happened, a lot of people were using this unicorn sheet mask from Yes2, and as they were wearing the mask during the time of use, they were experiencing irritation, burning sensations, and had redness afterwards, and some of it persisted for long afterwards. And I think the reason why this was such a big deal is because it seemed like this was marketed more towards children because of the unicorn. A lot of people probably received this as like a holiday present in their stockings. So enough people have reported irritation that Yes2 has recalled this specific sheet mask. So of course, these news outlets are gonna reach out to experts, in this case, a lot of dermatologists, for their opinion on why this burning sensation has happened. So there were a few articles I saw with statements from dermatologists, and one of them said that it might be there's too much of these natural ingredients, because although ingredients can be natural and we think that's better, it's not always the case. They can be irritating. Um, they specifically mentioned citric acid. Citric acid is not in here directly listed as an ingredient, and, and, they also, and this particular dermatologist also mentioned essential oils as um, an example, and in this case, that would be limonene, which, is, but that is also at the very bottom of the list. So it's kind of, so I'm not sure if that would affect such a widespread amount of people having this reaction. Another one I saw said that this is just contact dermatitis from people reacting to a specific ingredient or because there's too much ingredient. Contact dermatitis is when by direct contact with that specific ingredient or compound, you then develop a reaction to it. So sometimes it's because there's too much of something that's too high of a concentration and at lower levels you may not experience the same kind of reaction. And the last article that I saw said something in relation to that it had vitamin C in here or that it was an unknown ingredient not listed on the label, but I don't really think that the vitamin C is the case because it isn't very stable in aqueous solutions, it degrades pretty fast, and it looks far enough down on the list where there's probably not a lot of it to cause this reaction. And as for unknown ingredients, so if something is not listed on there and it's supposed to be, that's a big problem. The only acceptable reason would be fragrance, for instance, because fragrance could be a lot of things and because it's supposed to be a trade secret, they don't list the exact ingredients of these fragrances, but I, kind of have doubt that that's the particular reason. There are two things that I think could be possibilities. So either the pH is too low and it's too acidic and that's why we're getting the burning, or there's one ingredient in here that is either at too high of a concentration or its presence in general is causing these reactions. And I have an idea of what I think that ingredient might be. So now let's talk about my experience with the S2 sheet mask. So I haven't tried this unicorn one, but I did try the soothing cucumber one few years ago, I too had a similar reaction with this cucumber mask as these people did with the unicorn sheet mask. I put it on my face, sat for a few minutes, it was burning, and I could not even wear it for the 10 to 15 minutes that you normally keep sheet masks on. I've never had this reaction before that since then with the sheet mask. And at the time, I noticed that menthol was on this ingredients list. And if you don't know, menthol is an active ingredient in Icy Hot. So I imagine I was just having a giant Icy Hot sheet mask on my face and I just chalked it up to that and just decided I wouldn't use anything with menthol in it anymore. So when I saw the news to this, I thought, that's kind of weird. I had a similar reaction with a different sheet mask. So I started to try to compare similarities between the two. And pretty much all of their sheet masks on either Ulta or Target or Walmart has these kind of 
um, has these kind of reviews where people are feeling burning sensation. Now, for comparison, I did try to go look up other sheet masks, low-rated sheet masks on Sephora and Ulta. I think I maybe found one where somebody had irritation and that's why they gave the product a one ranking. But for the most part, none of these low-ranking sheet masks have this burning sensation problem. So this doesn't seem to be a common problem with other sheet mask brands, just this brand in particular for some reason. So my first theory was that these are too acidic. Your face is usually at a pH of 5.5. So anything too acidic below that pH of 5.5 can be potentially irritating, either from long-term use or short-term use. So the aloe vera juice could actually have a lower pH. And I found one on Making Cosmetics where they said the pH of that could be 3.5. So the juice itself could be 3.5. You have lactic acid. I just imagine the grapefruit extract is also acidic when it's added to solutions. So all of those combined can kind of make it more on the lower side. Uh, usually when cosmetics are too acidic, they will balance out the pH with something like sodium hydroxide to make it less acidic or TEA and that would make it less acidic. I did see another non sheet mask product from Yes2 where they did balance it out with sodium hydroxide, but in this case there's nothing, there's nothing basic I see like that that is balancing out the pH. And I don't have the unicorn mask, so I can't test out the pH of that product. But this doesn't explain why other sheet masks are doing the same thing that don't have things like the lactic acid and don't have things like the grapefruit extract and stuff like that. They have other ingredients in there that don't explain exactly why all these sheet masks are calling, causing burning sensations. So when I looked at the list, nothing really stuck out to me. And for the most part, sheet masks don't have a lot of things in them. So most of these sheet masks are about 90%, 80% water. There's the next highest ingredient is usually some sort of humectant like butylene glycol or glycerin. And all these little extracts are very low on the list at 1% or under most of the time. Those are usually just in there more so for marketing purposes. You can have a reaction to them at these low concentrations, but mostly they're just in there for marketing purposes. I don't really know how much they do for your skin, although I am a big fan of sheet masks. And I don't, so that's why I don't really think those little, those low level ingredients are causing this because again the sheet masks all of these sheet masks are causing this so that's when I tried to look at what all of these masks share so it seems like in all of these sheet masks the second ingredient is this aloe vera juice not extract but a juice so that's the common factor amongst all of these and they do have glycerin, but since glycerin is present at such high concentrations in other products, and we don't see this reported a lot, I don't think it's the glycerin that's causing this. So this seemed kind of weird to me at first because obviously when we think aloe vera, we think skin soothing, we think it helps calm sunburns, but since it is at such a high concentration, maybe it's just too high. A lot of times when you see aloe vera extract, it's very low on the list, probably like 1% or less, and this one could be at a very very, very high concentration, given that it's the second ingredient on all of these sheet masks. So I found some articles and studies suggesting that this could be potentially irritating to the skin, and I saw one article that mentioned a cosmetic chemist that if you do use like the pure substance from the leaf, which is what I imagine aloe vera juice is in this case, then it could cause irritation, so he recommended to dilute it to 10%. But when I went on making cosmetics website, they their aloe vera juice, they said typical usage was anywhere between 15 and 100%. So still not sure, but I feel like there is potential that this aloe vera juice could be causing this irritation because this ingredient isn't present in any of the other sheet masks that I saw while I was doing all of this research. It being the second ingredient on this list, it makes me wonder what the concentration is because it could be 90% water, maybe it's 50% water and 40% of this juice. The, and this whole burning thing also reminded me of these makeup wipes that I got from Burt's Bees that were also cucumber, also supposed to be soothing. and. They did burn my face when I used them, and it burned other people's faces according to reviews that I saw. But I also noticed that this aloe vera juice was also in the ingredients list on these. Not second or anything like that, but still present on the list. So I'm not sure if it's a combination of the pH and this particular ingredient, just the pH, just this ingredient, or maybe it's another ingredient that I'm overlooking. So this also doesn't mean that everyone will experience this. Maybe 
people are just more susceptible to being sensitive to whatever ingredient is causing this reaction. But personally, if I see aloe vera juice very high up on the list, I probably am not going to buy that. And if Yes2 does release a statement saying what caused this burning sensation, I will take that at face value. Because in the meantime, we can only speculate as to what actually is causing the burning sensation. So I would love to hear your thoughts on this, any experience you might have had with the S2 products or any sort of adverse reaction to sheet masks. And if you have any further information or sources that may help us learn what is happening, please leave it down below. And I will link my resources as well as links to the products so you can see the reviews down below. The links to the products will be third party affiliate style links. So if you click on those and then choose to go on a Target, a Walmart, or Ulta shopping spree, I will get a kickback from that. If you don't want to use those, the name of the product will be there so you could throw it into Google. And if you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to click the subscribe button so you will not miss any of my uploads. And with that, I will see you in my next video.